today I'm making some fennel tea. I just want to show you what fennel seeds look like up close. If you're not familiar with this, it can look a little like cumin, but fennel is more plump and green. So I've rinsed it a little bit in this strainer under running water and I'm putting it in the pan. First we have to toast these seeds until they're slightly brown. Don't toast until they're popping out of the pan because that's taking a little too far. So um, toast them lightly, add some water and then simmer on a very low flame until the water has reduced to half the original quantity. And I'm trying to follow the traditional Ayurvedic principles when I'm making this. I may not be 100% correct but overall this is pretty much how it's done. In traditional medicine in Sri Lanka, we use fennel tea for digestive disorders like tummy upsets, kids are given it as well, um, nursing moms are given to increase the production of milk. So um, there's so many benefits to it. Just read up on it and you'll be surprised. You could also make cumin tea, uh, coriander tea as well using the same method. And I have uploaded the coriander tea recipe a uh, couple of years back, so it's on here on the Asai Rasai YouTube channel. Google it and it will come up. Toast this for about, um, say, five minutes while moving it around. Just make sure that it's not on a very high heat because that's going to burn the seeds and then you're going to have a bitter taste to your um, fennel tea. You will also notice that as it dries, it becomes more fragrant and then the, um, the seeds also move around more loosely. The pan tends to become a little brown at the bottom. You can see that. Um, and that's pretty normal. Just make sure that it doesn't become too brown. Again, it's going to give that bitter taste to your fennel tea. I'm using about three tablespoons of fennel seeds and I'm adding about five to six cups of water. So this is going to reduce to half the quantity of water once it's done and that's the strength that you want to achieve. Now cover the pan and bring this to a rolling boil. I'm using medium to medium high heat. So that should take about 10 minutes for it to start boiling. And before you drink the fennel tea, always make sure that it's uh, cooled down, maybe until it's warm to the touch or slightly warmer, but mm, try to avoid drinking it while it's hot, it's not recommended. And you can sweeten this tea in any way you like. I like to use honey, but when I don't have honey, my next option is brown sugar or jaggery. I try to avoid white sugar, but if that's not an option, then it's okay. Um, if you've tasted chamomile tea, this would be closest in strength to chamomile tea. It doesn't taste exactly the same as chamomile, but the mildness is very similar. So it's not a bitter strong tea at all. Now this fennel tea is ready. I'm going to let it sit until it cools down a little bit. Um, as I said before, you don't drink it hot. It's got to be warm to the touch or slightly warmer. And when you're ready to use it, just stir it a little bit with a spoon like this and then strain the seeds off. You can discard the seeds once the, um, uh, you have strained it out of the water. I also want to mention that this uh, video doesn't really Im imply that these remedies work for everyone or every situation. Please consult your doctor and do not try to self-medicate with home remedies because most often these remedies are just um, given during uh, non-life-threatening situations and uh, when symptoms are very mild um, if, and mild symptoms can quickly become more serious as well so you always consult a physician before you try anything out at home. Also note that home remedies can sometimes conflict with uh, prescription medication so that's another thing to keep in mind. Okay so I have I didn't need to strain the first part of this tea because the seeds have settled down but to get the bottom half of the tea you would need to use a strainer to separate the seeds. So I'm adding a little bit of honey. You can put as little or as much honey as you like um, to your level of sweetness. And now you know how to make fennel tea the way we do in Sri Lanka. I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, stay subscribed and here's to your health.